Welcome everybody to another trading video. I'm your market analyst Adam Karlberg. Today we're going to be having a look at the price of natural gas. So natural gas has had a pretty volatile year, taking out multi-decade highs in prices and this has largely been on the back of two distinct kind of factors and one has been inflation and rising energy prices and the other has been the Ukraine and Russian war which has worked in tandem with inflation to really drive up energy prices. Now, that these rise in um, natural gas prices has actually seen um, two big peaks uh, being set up as we have a look over at the weekly chart. What we can notice is that, as I stated previously, we're at multi-decade highs here. So we've got this big peak or big market structure over here at about $10.00. And so far, we haven't been break, able to break above that. And that's really a, a long-term resistance point. Just make that a different color. There we go. And then above there, we're going back to about 14. And that's really our next target. But you, as we can see, we've got multiple um, tests of this. And really, only during the GFC did we actually um, test those highs. Excuse me. And then having a look a little bit lower, we can see that during COVID, we dropped all the way down to $1.50. Not sure why that worked, just bear with me, guys. And we've also got this almost mean point at about 6.5. And we're going to have a closer look at that as we go, because that's really where the price is sitting currently. But that is kind of the lay of the land. Um, and that's kind of where we sit at the moment. So as we look a little bit closer, what we notice is that mid kind of point, that mean reversion, is really where we're sitting at the moment. And we've actually tested this point, as we can see, once already. We've tested it twice, although it was quite a strong retracement. We've come back up. And this long-term um, resistance turned into a level of support. So the question remains, well, are we going to see a bounce here? And what are the indications so far? Well. First and foremost, we see a massive amount of selling. As you can see, the last seven weeks or so has just been selling. And this has largely been due to the recessionary pressures, which has seen growth prospects um, shrink. But the other thing that we notice is we're getting very close to this 50 period moving average again. And as we can see, the last time we approached this point, the 50 week moving average rather, we bounced straight back back off pretty um, pretty convincingly. So that would be a really important point to look forward to and an indication of a potential reversal. RSI-wise on the weekly, we haven't yet dropped below um, these last two peaks, or rather um, these last two um, low points, although we are getting close to testing this um, the level at 45, which is what our recent reversal was at. So now as we have a closer look at the daily chart, just to get a bit more of a clear understanding. And as we can see, we've got lots of market structure and um, price action around this point, about around this, what is the day, 200 day moving average. And it's also getting a little bit closer to the, these two moving averages are starting to get close to converging, which means maybe we've found our midpoint and we may not see a massive move back up. And that's kind of what we need to understand. But as we do, as we saw, we are ready to, you know, sitting on this long-term support line. So perhaps we'll see a bounce maybe up to this 50-day um, moving average to eight. And the other thing to remember is as the Northern Hemisphere moves closer into winter, that demand for natural gas is going to only increase. And potentially with the Russia and Ukraine war continuing or becoming more aggressive, we may see that supply increase again or decrease rather, and the demand increasing. So therefore, we may see another move back up. But guys, we do see the early signs of a reversal. We've got a divergence in the RSI. Um, as we can see, it's getting ready to move up while this price is getting ready to move down. So we may see a bounce pretty soon. And I think a good first target is either this level here at 7.5 or the um, 50 day moving average at eight. So those are our first two targets. Um, but one to definitely keep an eye on is natural gas. And thanks for watching, guys, and good luck trading.